Welcome to another episode of You're Weird, written by Kate Peterson, aka the Dapper Jackalope. I hope you guys are ready for an episode with too much information, because today we're going over 20 questions about the weirder who owns this book. Me! Let's get into it. Alright, so, first question, what's my name? Shenanigans. That one was pretty easy. Nicknames. Shannon. I've been called that. Shanane, also, less frequently, but I've been called that. Uh, Salamander was sort of a weird nickname I had in elementary school, and I'm not really sure why. And one of my friends called me Salmon um, from second grade up through our senior year of high school. Yeah, kids were very inventive, so those are some of the nicknames I remember. Um, next are my family members. So first, of course, I had to draw my cat Waffles. He's also my office assistant since he has his own space in my studio. And the next person I'm drawing over here, that is my husband, who does not want his name in this, so I'm not going to say it. But I think this is a pretty accurate representation of what he would look like if he were a cartoon. And of course, since I was drawing my family members, I had to draw me. So that's little doodle I'm doing over here. I'm also using these really fun pencils that have colored lead and I'm a big fan of them. I just like all the different colors. They don't erase the best, but I like how they look. Yep, that is a picture of me. Pretty classic outfit, shorts, t-shirt, looking longingly at my husband. And the next part, I'm just drawing some of my closest friends. So the first two are some of my best friends. Their names happen to be in my uh, coloring book if you happen to pick that up. So just putting that out there, not going to say their names in here. You have to get the book to find out. The other two of my friends, I'm also not going to say their names because they haven't given me permission to. And they are, there's a heart between them because they're engaged and they're getting married next year. Next, my current job title, um, artist. I feel like that's a pretty accurate representation of what I do right now. Uh, during the school year, I also substitute at a local high school and middle school. Next, going over the places I've lived. So I've lived in an apartment in dorm, and a house, and in a town. I have also lived in a city, and I struggled drawing a city and then realized I could just do a skyline, so that's what I switched over to. And then after city, I put in the state. So I've lived in Pennsylvania, and in the United States of America. And I drew a flag because I didn't know how to draw the entire state. I've also lived in North America. Whoa, what a surprise. Lived in the Northern Hemisphere. I've also lived on uh, planet Earth. I know, it's a big surprise, guys. And I've also lived in our solar system. What a cute little son with his little sunglasses. So happy. And I've lived in the uh, Milky Way galaxy. So yeah, those are all of the places I've lived. It's a pretty extensive list. Some of the favorite places that I visited. Uh, Portland, Maine. Definitely a huge one. Specifically for their donuts. Oh man, there are great potato donuts there. You have to get them. They're, they're amazing. I also love New Orleans because they have these cool hidden art galleries back in different alleyways. And it was a lot of fun. I also really like Philadelphia and Pittsburgh because part of my family's from one of those and my husband's family's from the other city. Not gonna share which one. Um, my current city, I don't have one. I live in a small town, so I don't have a city. My favorite local hangouts, there's quite a few, so I don't limit it. Uh, comic book shops are definitely a couple of my favorite places to hang out. There's a coffee shop I'm a big fan of and it is next to this adorable little boutique that I probably spend way too much money in, but I love it. Uh, some of my other favorite places definitely include my husband and my couch, which, yes, I normally have a spot right on where I'm drawing it, right there. There's a drink beside me and a ton of clutter on the other seat. I like to nest when I hang out in our living room. I also like to hang out playing out games on my 3DS. And when I'm drawing over here, yeah, I like to play Pokemon the card game online. It's a problem, but it's legal, so it's not really an issue, right? That's how that works, right? So some of my other favorite things to do other than playing 
Pokemon, the trading card game online, is hanging out, drawing, sketching, doodling. I also like to collect and organize Pokemon cards. I'm an adult. I like to play video games. That controller looks a little bit too much like an Xbox One, but I'm definitely a Nintendo person. I also really like anything to do with YouTube. Making videos, watching videos, ugh, there are so many channels I will probably talk about in the future. I also really like watching TV, and mostly uh, Law & Order SVU has been on my mind lately, so I've been watching a lot of that. Some of the things that I do every day. I eat. I expel waste. Huh. Do you get it? Do you get that? Yeah, I thought it was funny too. Um, I play with my cat. And he, I swear, he's a lovable little guy, but uh, he can get a little vicious sometimes. And my hands just kind of look a little destroyed occasionally. So yeah, that's what all that red is. It's my blood, because I think he's trying to kill me. I swear he's sweet. All right, other things I do every day. I hang out with my husband. We watch a lot of Law & Order SVU together, actually. And recently we started watching a lot of cartoons. I just discovered Adventure Time. I know. I know I'm late to the party, but oh, it's such a good show. It's so worth it. I also normally do something YouTube related every day, mostly watching videos, and if not that, then I'm filming or editing or whatevering. And of course, every day, I do something with art. I drew a paintbrush, but I don't paint terribly often, but I sketch every single day. Well, pretty much. Some of my favorite books. The first one. Clockwork Orange. I thought that was a cute little doodle. It's an orange with a little clock face on it. Another one of my favorite books, Fahrenheit 451. I recently read this and it's just, oh, it's just so good. I just love how it's written. I also really love the Harry Potter series. I know it's not the best Harry Potter doodle, but it's kind of cute. That uh, Red Rum, that is based off of Stephen King's The Shining. Anything Stephen King, I love. Oh, and another one of my favorite books, uh, is this coloring book. I love most coloring books, but mostly mine. <laughs> so I made Derpy Doodle's coloring book. Uh, selfless plug. All right, my favorite movies. The first one, of course, the Harry Potter series. I've read all the books, watched all the movies, and they're just, they're just so great. I also love pretty much anything Disney. My Best friends and I relate to all, almost all of these movies and just watch them all and they're great. Also, of course, we love Disney Pixar. Just, ugh. I'll probably talk about that another day too. I'm also a big fan of Studio Ghibli and My Neighbor Totoro was my first Studio Ghibli movie, so it has this special place in my heart. And my best friend also introduced me to Studio Ghibli and I do not regret it. Spirited Away is another one of my favorite movies. Alright, moving on to favorite bands. Of course, Fall Out Boy had to go on there. Skillet, another one that just, ugh. They're, they're, they're just great. They're great people. Ren Collective is another one. I didn't write it down and I'm kicking myself for it, but I also really love Train. They're, I've seen them in concert. I'm a little obsessed with Pat Monahan. Just, it's fine. It's not weird. It's not a weird age gap at all. Um, and my other favorite band, of course, is the local high school because they're awesome. Honestly, those kids, they act like they're this one big family and they're super supportive of each other. And I think we need more of that, especially for young teenagers. It's a really great group. All right, my favorite foods. I love Brussels sprouts. I love peas. I love melons, especially honeydew and watermelon. I also really love strawberries. I know, it's not that exciting and it's not junk food. Oh, but I also really love Oreos. And it might be a problem. And pancakes, of course, are another one of my favorite foods. Not waffles, because waffles is my cat, and I'm not going to eat my cat, guys. Come on. All right, some of my most prized possessions. This was kind of hard for me, because I don't like to think of my things in this way, where they're, like, prized, have to have, could not ever be without. Like, obviously I need deodorant every day, but I don't know it's a prized possession. So the first one I'm drawing is... My baby blanket. It had this cute little teddy bear riding on a rocking horse, and I just, I love that thing. It was my great grandma made it for me, and then passed away before she got to meet me when I was born. So I love that blanket. Next, another prized possession, I guess, is my coloring book. 
because I made it and I'm really proud of it. And of course, my wedding rings, which they don't make me married, but I love them. Some areas of expertise, anything art, anything shenanigans, color theory, marketing, theater, business law, and random facts. Three of those I have degrees in. Take a guess. Maybe I'll talk about another video. Some of my talents and skills, art, of course. I think I'm pretty talented and you know, I'm still improving every day though, so if you don't think I'm talented, well, I'm growing. I'll figure it out. I also like making derpy faces. I'm pretty good at expressions and I'm really proud of that. I can also quack like a duck and meow like a cat. And I make some pretty great chili. Some of my proudest accomplishments, graduating from college and I have my bachelor's. I own a business, started a YouTube channel, and I published my own coloring book, another selfless plug. I am really proud of this thing. I've wanted to do it for years and I finally did it and I love it. Some of my biggest goals is just to be able to work on my business full time, making a second coloring book and one that's a little harder to talk about, driving again. I have post-traumatic stress disorder from a car accident that happened about four years ago and it kind of impacts all of my life, but one of my goals is to be able to drive again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you're related to something in this, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. It means a lot to me. See you in the next one. Bye! If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Do you want to see more shenanigans? Then check out these suggestions on your screen. Thanks so much for watching. Check back soon for some more shenanigans. Bye!